Hello and welcome to Administrator One. Before you begin, please make sure you have two emails that you will be setting up as new users in our Administrator One class. The Atmosphere platform sits in the cloud and is easily reached by using the URL platform.boomi.com. Now, although any browser can be used, we have seen the least amount of issues using Mozilla Firefox and Java Chrome due to their Java handling. So, if you can, please try to use one of these browsers. If you have login issues, please click on Help, I Forgot My Password. Now let's log in. We'll need to enter in our username, our password, and we'll click on the login. And this will take us into Atomsphere. Before jumping into class, I do want to mention, as with our Dell Boomi training classes, we are using the exact same training account that we used from our Boomi Essentials. And we're downloading our processes from the process library. In this class, we will be using the process that you created in Boomi Essentials called Account XML to CSV. Uh, if for some reason you don't have it, please make sure you download it from the process library. We also need you to have set up in Manage, Atom Management. You're going to need to have your production environment with your Atom Cloud attached to it, a test environment with the test Atom Cloud attached to it. Our class is separated into the tasks that a production administrator performs on a regular basis. Now, some of these tasks are completed during setup, some are completed regularly, and others are occasional tasks that are performed. Our first section covers the tasks that are completed while you're setting up your Boomi environment. This is going to include connecting to the Atom Cloud, setting up environments if they are not already set up, creating and modifying and deleting users, understanding the default and optional password policy, we will also be reviewing licensing and folder permissions. Our class will then next move into the routine tasks that a production administrator performs. We begin by concentrating on the deploy tab, moving to scheduling processes, examining both process reporting and the account and HTTP dashboards. We will look at the log files and discuss listeners, atom workers, and certificates. We will also add a new user illustrating how the tasks in the setup section are applied to a new user. And finally, this section will end with the notify and the exception email alerts. Our final topic has the occasional tasks that a production administrator performs. This includes setting up environment extensions, document tracking, component locking, and it ends with deactivating our processes.